Friday vlog day! Right and early, up driving around. Where are we headed, babe? We are headed to Ann Arbor so I can go have my LASIK done. Woohoo! And we have such beautiful weather. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, the dark and cloudy is gonna be beneficial. For the drive home. For yeah. the drive home. This is an hour drive. So I'm, I'm like super glad that you're very calm about this. Oh yeah, so calm. <laughs> are, are you shaking? I am. <laughs> I am. But it's not because I'm cold. T tell me what the doctor told you again. Which part? So I told him how, well a couple different things. I told him how I have syncope. <clears throat> and he's like, that's all right, we lose a couple people sometimes, but we don't let them fall out of the chair. <laughs> Okay, thanks. And then he was telling me about the suction that comes down onto your eye, and that's what actually makes the, yep. the, the flap cut. One, um, and he's like, you know, it might haze or black out your vision, but everything should be fine unless you roll off the table, and then, you know, your eye might come out. <laughs> he's like, no, not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and sat there laughing. Why am I losing my mind? <laughs> this doctor sounds like me. He does. <laughs> All right, we're laying down getting Jenny to sleep. She has to put these eye protectors on. My shields. Uh, and that's strictly just to keep her from sleeping or keep her from rubbing her eyes while she's sleeping. Um, I've got the window blocked off as good as I can over there for light. Her eyes have become super sensitive right now. She can't, she's having a hard time opening them. Uh, but she, her instructions are to try and just sleep for the next four to six hours, so. That's what you're going to try and do, right, babe? Yeah. I had to eat some food first, though. I think you look amazing. I don't even want to know what I look like right now. Actually, are those on right? I don't know. I it's... feel like they're on the wrong eyes. No, she, she had... That's really bright. She had this going at the nose, so... Oh, okay. They might be on crooked. I don't care. It's just to protect my uh, eyes. You just want so. to go to sleep. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you fall asleep, and I'm going to go do some running around. Okay. Alright guys, it has been a terrible vlog day just for the fact that I haven't been vlogging anything. So we got home and Jenny and I laid down for a couple hours because we didn't get any sleep last night. Um, so Jenny and I took an, and Jenny has to be laying down. So then I woke up and I went to Napoleon Bee Supply to talk to them about being at our hoop nanny for a demonstration, which hoping that all works out. Kids are home from school now. Andrew has dug out the uh, microscope. What are you looking at, bud? Butterfly wings. Butterfly wings? That's awesome. Do they look cool? I wonder if the camera can look in there and see. Can you focus on that and then let me look in there? Yeah. Oh, well, but I mean, will it be able to take the video doing that? Oh. I forget. Let, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Actually, we're missing the light. We're missing the, the power cord for the light to be able to look at this thing really good. Let's, we'll see if we can find that. But, but I've got to leave. I gotta leave again. This has been an all car day. Actually, bed and car. That's all today has been. Uh, I've gotta leave here, go pick up TJ from uh, track practice, and then go drop him off at his dad's house. Mom has said that these rugrats can stay here, but she's still in bed. I'll probably let the rugrats stay here, which means she's in charge. Yeah, she's reading a book, so good luck getting her attention at all. Yeah, her. All right, let's see if we can find the light for that microscope for about the two seconds before I have to leave. All right, folks. We got the microphone, the microphone, the microscope set up along with the camera attachment. And Andrew, what are we looking at? Butterfly wing. That is butterfly wing. What's this little doohickey do? I don't know my microscopes. It says put it at full. And it was at full. Is it full? No, that's three. What's that? Two. Eight. That's three, two, one. eight? What kind of counting did you do? Stop. That's a full right there? Yeah, I think. Uh, 
Okay, that actually looks kind of weird. What's that at? One, five, three, four. Okay, we're playing with the mi microscope. I've got to get going, so I'm going to let Andrew play with all this while I'm gone. That's what it looks like. Oh, where's your... Ooh, that's kind of creepy looking. All right. All right, we're dropping TJ off. You got anything to say this week? No, no. Got a joke? I'm putting you on the spot again. What hashtag did you just see? How about this? What hashtag did you just see on a billboard that you thought was awesome? Hashtag dad jokes rule. Ha <laughs> ha, they do. That's for sure. All right, dude, have a good weekend. I love you, bud. Love you too. Okay, I feel like there hasn't been much content in this Friday vlog, and there's not going to be, but I figured I'd show you an empty chicken tractor. <laughs> Actually, what we did is we used this as a brooder. This is one of the chicken tractors we used last year for our meat birds. Uh, but when we had our baby chicks, they kind of started off in here. I really wanted to get them out of here because there's not much sunlight through here. Um, and it was kind of driving me crazy. So they're on the porch now. I'll go show you the I'll go show you the chickens here and the baby quail in just a minute. But what I'm super excited for and showing you this for right now is this week we are getting turkeys. We've never had turkeys before. And I forget exactly if we got all of the one kind or not, but we are getting the turkey that I have wanted forever. Uh, those Royal Palm turkeys. I love those things. So we're getting some of those. And um, I can't remember if we got another breed also. Jenny did the ordering. We talked about 12 different things. And I forget where it ended up. But most importantly, I'm getting my Royal Palm. And then my buddy, uh, buddies uh, John and Heather over at our HodgePodge Homestead, um, I believe two of what we put in our order, two are going to them, uh, kind of trying to save on the minimum amounts to ship and all this and that. So, um, yeah, awesome. Going to have turkeys, I think. I think Wednesday they're coming in, but we're super excited about that. All right, so the sun just recently came out on our porch here. And here's all of our chickens. If Jenny was up, she could tell you what's what. Well, actually, this isn't all of our chickens. This is actually probably not coming out on video very good due to all the lighting and stuff. Here's our baby quail, and we just moved the smaller chicks in here with the baby quail because... Um, I need to get, as you can see, that water is, I need to get these raised, but I can't raise them enough for these smaller chicks. So I think these smaller chicks are going to stay in with these quail for a couple more days. But they're kind of checking me out. Jenny said they weren't getting along all that great at first, but I kind of think they're doing okay now. But this should only be a day or two issue. I haven't had a chance to clean this out today, so... I'll be doing that here in just a little bit. In fact, it looks like it's time to change out all the bedding in this one. This one doesn't look bad. All right, it's getting late. I'm throwing together some chicken stir fry here real quick. Mm -mm. Like stir fry has become my new favorite thing. I usually, for myself, do a veggie stir fry. Uh, but we're gonna add some, I think, what do you have up there, Jenny, jasmine? Jasmine rice. Yeah. I got that going on the stove, the last little bit of that. And chicken, get a little filling in these kids. And look what Jenny's doing. She's reading papers with no glasses. And look what Jenny's doing. She's up in the light. I am. It's so I'm Yeah. I do have these curtains drawn, though. It's so watery, but it is a ton better. All right, here we go. Got it all mixed in there. Some people are going to have a little flack with this that I got. The, the rice mixed in already and not sitting on top, but you know what I'm saying, but it's how I did it. It's dinner. We're going to chow. It's getting late in the day, really late actually. All right, down here doing some night chores. These little ones are getting pretty big. These are little goats as it is. These are very little goats, but those little babies are getting big. We are going to skip milking mama in the morning, so we're not going to isolate the babies. We usually feed them all together at night. And then mama just comes out, the baby stay in here, and we milk mama in the morning. But with our super early startup tomorrow, uh, we're just going to leave the babies on mama all night. So, good stuff. We have to get, a, we seriously have to get going 
on cleaning this out. This is ridiculous. And I can get this composting, hot composting, and actually use it here really soon. But this is a ridiculous amount of hay. This, if I can get it out and get it hot composting, will probably be the uh, mulch that we put on the garden. This is a ton of material in here. I, it, it's hard to see on video how built up it is, but it is really built up. And so, and it's just, it's all wasted hay. It's not straw or anything. It's all wasted hay that these folks waste. I know, sweetheart. All right, I'm going to try and show you guys the pigs before I get out of here, too. Trying to, they think they think they're getting separated, so they're trying to get one last little meal in for the night. But they're not going to get separated tonight. All these baby goats are doing great. Uh, that one right there is the one that had the leg issue. We are probably I gotta look at the calendar, but that is those ones, mom. And we're probably going to start milking her. I don't know, maybe next week. I have to look at the calendar, see how long it's been. If it's been three or four weeks, we might go ahead and get started. Same deal. Separate mom and uh, probably just put all the babies together. Milk the mamas, then let the babies out. We also have a broody mama here. And when the, when the ch chickens get broody, we don't do too much with them. We just let them do their thing, whether they're in the pen or in here. But this one could not make up its mind. It would sit on some eggs for two or three days. Then it would move to that nesting box for two or three days, leaving the eggs over here, obviously. Then it would move down into this hole where a whole lot of egg laying goes on. And she sat there for two or three days. Then she came back here, then she was there, then here. Then She's actually been here for four or five days. So I have no idea how many eggs are under her. As far as I know, there's like one egg under her. But we'll just let her do her thing. Wherever she's comfortable, whatever she's comfortable doing. Isn't that right, Mama? We are super excited to see some eggs getting hatched out. And we've been hatching, like you saw earlier, hatching them out in our incubator as well. And we're going to be doing more. We actually have more in the incubator right now. And then we're going to actually pull out the big incubator incubator and try that again because we're thinking we're thinking we want to get into the selling the eggs thing so uh that's what we're going to try and do and um yeah say good night everybody oh let these folks out surprise surprise you all come out tonight the babies don't have to stay in there. They're kind of confused. But they will love it. Look. Yeah, go with your mom. Go hang out with her. <laughs> Alright, it's pretty dark in here, so video quality on this sucks. Sorry about that, but these guys are doing good. My plan is to have them uh, moved out to our garden tomorrow after we get back from wrestling and everything with Andrew. That's the plan, because they are, eight pigs in this area is not good. These two pigs are doing great in this area. Very little cleanup. Yeah, hi, hi, yeah. Yeah. They're all sweethearts, aren't ya? Yes, yeah. Sweetheart, aren't ya? Yes, hi. Yeah, you want some scratches too, huh? Yeah. But these pigs are doing good. These ones here we're not giving commercial feed to. They're on kind of a feeding regiment. Maybe we'll cover that a little bit in the next video because I'm sure we'll have a video of us moving them to the garden uh, tomorrow. But basically, duck eggs, our excess duck eggs, um, some soaked oats, barley, and sunflower. We currently have fodder growing for them that's just not ready to, quite ready yet to give to them. Um, and we've almost got a whole seven to 10 day cycle built up. Um, and then you know, I, see, I cut up an apple in there for a treat for them. Um, we eat tons of veggies at home. And yes, right now we are buying them at the store, but 
all of the veggie scraps they get, which is a ton. I, you guys, you would not believe how many veggies I eat here recently. Uh, the whole family eats, but I've really been killing veggies lately. And yes, like I said, store bought, but they get, they get, they get even stuff that maybe I normally would have kept for myself. Like I'll eat broccoli stems, but I've been chucking the broccoli stems at them. Let them have them. So, yep, they're doing good. These, these pigs are awesome. They're all real personable. Awesome. All right, got a two by four hanging there. So food and water is up off the ground. I have a feeling I can bring it up higher, uh, but we'll just wait and see. Um, it's really about time. These chickens are getting big. It's about time just to get them out of here. But uh, I can obviously take it up higher, but there are some shorter chicks in here. I want to make sure I have enough space, which... I think they're plenty good to go, but I like to be safe. Quail and baby chickens all getting along. It's hard to believe those little stinking quail in six weeks are going to be old enough to lay eggs. Well, five weeks now? Is that right? Uh, yeah, so once I can get these up off the ground high enough that there's no pine shavings in there, I'll start keeping them fuller. But All right, night-night, baby chicks. Baby quail, oh, and baby chicks. They do stay separated though. All the quail here, all the chicks there. Um, I do come out and make sure, since we did this, that the quail are getting uh, under the, the light. What is going on with this guy? Are you sleeping? All right, guys. Not a ton of content today. It was uh, it was LASIK day, and I got some stuff I want to do tomorrow. I want to I want to get that the pigs moved tomorrow. Those eight pigs moved tomorrow. Um, I think it's crucial I do that. So I'll have TJ's not here. So definitely Faith will have to help me. Jenny cannot help me. And so keep an eye out for that video on how we move them. I come up with a way that I think will work pretty good, but that could turn out to be pretty interesting. Uh, and then uh, we'll have Jenny's LASIK video, the video of her getting her LASIK done. We'll have that out um, probably this weekend for sure, maybe. I'm not going to promise. And then we got other videos. Je Jenny has a video, I'm going to try and edit it tonight as well, of the quail. M mainly the quail, I think, being born, but maybe it was all of these guys. So I got video stacking up that I need to edit. I need to edit the Alderman's video. When we went and stayed with the Alderman's for two days, I need to edit that video still. Oh, my gosh. Lots of editing to do, and, and that probably is an indication of us not really getting any videos put up. We haven't been putting a ton up as usual. So, all right, guys, good night. I think I'm going to say good night here. Kids are already in bed. We have to get up on a Saturday at 5 o'clock in the morning, or I do at least, to go do chores. And then we've got to leave here by 6 to get to Jenny's 24 hour follow up appointment. And then Andrew has his first wrestling match tomorrow. He actually seems pretty excited about it. That's cool. All right, we'll talk to you guys again. Hey, I'm going to show you this one more time. This chicken keeps, like, playing dead. Hopefully it's just playing dead. All right, you guys have a good night. See that? Pops right up. But it lays down for the count, don't you?